Before, brainstorming used to look like this. Now, it looks like this. Way more interactive, way easier to see connections, and you get better ideas, which is the most important part. Whether you're doing research, making content, even trying to get deep understanding of specific topics. And by the end of this video, I'll show you how AI can actually do the brainstorming for you, where you just have to say one word and then it can auto-generate a bunch for you. I'm not sponsored by the software, I just found it and I wanted to share it with you. So step number one is to go to infranodus.com and here's the website. As you can see, just click on sign up to try. They have a 14 day free trial, so you can check it out. Just write username, password, email. Step number two, select your use case. As you can see, this is how it looks like on the inside. And I am going to use it for keyword research, but what are you gonna use it for? If it's content or creating a paper, you can see they have a ton of use cases here. Now, what you need to do is to use one of these import sources. You can see Google and YouTube here very conveniently. You can start straight off with ChatGPT mode and a lot other things you can add in here. I'm going to select the YouTube keywords. I would recommend most people to start with either GPT for chat mode or Google search, but you still might be wondering still, why is this so powerful? I'm going to write my search query here that I want to do keyword research from. I make content around AI, so I'm going to put ChatGPT in here. 50 results, default language, English. Now I'm gonna click on exclude video descriptions because sometimes the description is a little unrelated and then click on import. This is how it looks like straight out of the box. You can see ChatGPT connected to all these different keywords. Step number three, do some brainstorming. So how it works is that you can see on the left side, they pulled in a bunch of YouTube links and essentially they take these as facts so you can solidify your knowledge along with AI. You'll see exactly what I mean in a second. Now you can see all these videos here, brings all of these keywords out and now I can decide where I wanna take it next. So I'm gonna go down to the insight panel. Now this panel is pretty important because this is where we're gonna make a first AI inquiry. I wanna know more about the keyword AI video generator. So now I can select either question, develop, chat GPT, ideate or Google it. I'll show you how fast it is. Here's how to play Dungeons and Dragons with AI. I'm going to go to heyo.com slash AI dungeon. And here they have a bunch of cool stories. They even got stories like Baldur's Gate, Assassin's Creed, Mirage, Cyberpunk and Starfield. Let's click on play. I'm going to name my character Rolf. Background, I can select Beast Hunter, Bouncer, Explorer, Gangster. Space Scoundrel sounds fine. I need to collect some. I need to apply my trades like let's say wanted <laughs> character settings boost the strength boost the charisma and everything else is just fine now let's click on start game so i'm on this ship called starfire in a bustling hub of trade and shady dealings i meet this humanoid alien that is called grax which is an information dealer rolf my friend I've got a job for you. I can provide you with the coordinates and some information, but I need you to retrieve it for me. What do you say? Okay, I'll do it. After a long journey through space, your ship makes a smooth landing on Kaladin's surface. Suddenly, a group of small furry creatures named Snarbles <laughs> jumps out from behind the shrubs. They bare their sharp teeth and let out a loud growl. I need to roll a d20 to determine your initiative for combat. I rolled 16. The Snarbles rolled a 9. We get to attack first, so I'm just gonna attack. It's asking with what? I cleave attack everybody with my sword i think maybe it's a gun instead but let's see great choice rolf you show up your strength as you swing your sword in a sweeping motion targeting multiple snarbles now they rolled a 16 and my hp is now down to six what do you want to do now shoot the remainder with a gun like i should have probably done that already two rolls i i roll a 14 for accuracy six for damage and it's enough to defeat them i think it's really fun so check it out in the link in the description to go to heyo's ai dungeon thanks to heyo ai for sponsoring this section of the video i'll show you how fast it is just click on google it 
And there you have the result. It's talking about in video AI. I know this one is really good. So then I'm going to click on save to graph and you only do this if you believe this to be true. And I can click on more results until I get something I like. So I'm going to click on it now. It went with deep brain. So I like that. I'm going to click on save to graph. And now what happens is it pops up this entire new cloud. And once we've done a little bit more brainstorming, I'll show you how insanely powerful it is when it goes to high level thinking. Let's do more AI video generation, Synthesia, we know that. So we're gonna save to graph as well, and you will see it be changing again. I can also click on chat GPT and the connection like video here, and then I can click on the insights panel to create content with chat GPT. And as you'll see, it will give you a statement. It's talking about utilizing the vision of ChatGPT that can transform traditional learning methods, enabling beginners to hustle and gain proficiency swiftly, and that the AI's capability to evolve a custom formula for study could kill the probability of plagiarism, enhancing productivity in no time. So I agree with that. So I'm going to click save to graph. And again, you'll see this pop up in a new cluster here. And what I'm looking for is the connections between between the different subjects, because that's usually where the best content lies. Let's make another query. Let's click on chat GPT and productivity next click on GPT four. And now what I'm going to do is the answer to elaborate. So this takes the actual statement that it gave, but you can refine it even further. So I'm going to prompt it list some more ways to be productive. I like that answer. So let's save to graph. And now we're going to elaborate on that again. I'll ask it another question, GPT chat saying that it will transform boundaries of education and employment sectors through continual cutting edge updates. That seems about right. Let's save it to graph. And you can see now that we have all of the things that are connected between chat GPT and productivity on the left side. So we have five now and we can create even more and more and more. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deselect all the nodes. I'm going to click on the analytics panel here and I'm going to click on the main ideas. Look for step number four, we're going to refine the mind map. This is where we take all the different ideas that we just had. We could have done way more, by the way, it's just for example purposes, but we refine it down to what actually matters and find some really, really good ideas here. But as you can see, if we click on the low level ideas, turn on the high level ideas. And now you can see there are these boxes that cover up a certain thing. And every box is a cluster. So here you can see quick improvement. This is more likely the here they have a bunch of learning or enabling or proficiency click on beginner and you can see that you actually have way less or I wish we could just do way more. Let's put on a little time lapse to get some more data. And now you can see our mind map is a lot bigger. And again, if I click on the high level, everything has changed a little bit. I did most of it around AI text. Then chat GPT vision, productivity, human right intelligence, prompt formulas. And that's where we take it to step number five, find your blind spots. In the top right, you can see this blind spot button that has topics to connect like hustle side make and future crazy James. And if I highlight it in network, you can see that they're so far away from each other that they have no connection in between each other. And this is where the really good content usually comes from connecting two unique ideas together to make something truly unique. Now, <laughs> these keywords aren't really the best. So let's click on the inside question. And now it's asking a question that's trying to bridge the gap between these two things. So if I save to graph, you can now see that they've moved a little bit closer to each other. We get a new one, which is pro tutorials and Elon Musk. So we can reset the highlight and check it out. Here are the two clusters. And if I click on the inside question again, you will see that it's starting to generate here. You can see what skills can beginners learn quickly from ChatGPT based tutorials and becoming GPT pros and reasonably start a job with OpenAI to make a living. Wow. Can you see how these deep questions really takes your entire journey in a different direction? If I actually answered this question, it would be a good piece of content. If I click save to graph once more, you will see again the movement of the 
mind map itself. I kind of like that a lot. I would also recommend clicking on the most popular one. So you can see video here is also popular. AI is also super popular here. Prompt is popping up as well. You can see the connections between these points that they're clearly more profound. So we're actually going to hide them. And what that does is you can see it on the mind map now moving around. I'm going to click on vision as well, insane as well, and hide those with this button in the top because it kind of gets a little bit too saturated. Now you can see learning and productivity, business, hustle, update, beginner. I know these keywords to be very valuable. Let me select them and let's also hide those. And just by looking at this mind map, I can find more nuanced details and obviously expand it further by making more requests. For example, an open AI and capability and then click on AI insights, create a relationship between them and save to graph. So here is a bonus tip on how you can make AI do the entire work for you. And that is the three buttons in the left corner here, generate a question, bridge a gap, expand periphery. So by clicking generate question, you can see how can open AI be leveraged to enhance our capability for leveraging artificial intelligence. If you click on bridge a gap, it's trying to close this yellowish color with this green color. OpenAI has demonstrated incredible capability in advancing artificial intelligence. <laughs> That's definitely true. And with the expand the periphery, you can see that it's trying to explore all these words that we haven't really explored that much. So we can explore those as well. So now I'm going to return all the different nodes back to its original big view here. And I hope I was able to show you how to brainstorm a little better with this tool here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope I made your day a little bit better. Thanks so much to all of my Patreons. Click on this video now to watch more of me. All right, see you there. Peace.